You might have been reading it already into the title, but it probably says update 1.10 has come out and it just did like an hour ago and the list of it is very good but i'm going to do a long story short type of deal i'm just gonna name some things i want to show you some things it is a really cool update they have mythical creatures they have special ways of taming these mythical creatures and you cannot really find them that easily which is actually a very nice thing they have done some exploration balancing i'm not quite sure what will be included in all of that but they have now also an FPS camera, which I will show you in a second. New blueprint functionalities, actions while mounted on an animal, which is very cool. They have also changed some names onto the main menu and have added a few couple of things. Take a look at this, maybe you can recognize something that is new. Besides that, they have added a big list with new items, new tools, new vehicles, new environmental thing actors which is only one thing and that is a terror bird i'm not sure what to expect from that they've also they have also included new building pieces and some new pets you can buy into the store they have a ginormous list of added removed and replaced list they have the same list which is called reworked and tweaked and another list called fixes this is an absolutely mega update and that is not the only thing that has changed in this game but as you can see i have been colorizing my buildings and i have placed some more trees down there and another thing what will that be okay so first things first one of the bigger things here is if i press on c you can now see that i'm in first person mode i will just get the hot back and it just works as it works now before you had to do uh, enter and then slash and then uh, fps cam enable and disable which was a lot of um, a lot of things to do there and now we can just press c to go in and out of first person mode now why would we want to have first person mode well sometimes it just looks it looks nice now of course they have these little hands here the reason for that is because for all of the animations it will cost a lot of work to rework that i have been reading that there are 1500 animations that they will have to add in order to make it look correct and i've been doing some modeling and rigging myself and try to make animation and for one type of animation and to import and export it and that kind of stuff it can take up to 10 minutes just for one animation and can you imagine 1500 times 10 minutes that is indeed a lot of work so that's why they decided to just add hands and you know what it is fine by me it is absolutely fine by me and so yeah it's also nice so you get more of a better look when you're in cramped areas uh, when you build stuff and one of the things that I was actually wondering if they would add in for the paint gun. Because before, when you, you know, press C and take your paint gun, you wouldn't see it. And now you can just, you know, paint in tight spaces, which is absolutely very nice. Another thing that you can see on my slot bar just above is the uh, Q. So you just press Q and that is what you get. Maybe some people didn't know about that even though it's getting told at the um, tutorial stuff. Alright. So first person, it is absolutely amazing. And yeah, you just, you know, you get a better look onto things. You can grab things better. You can paint stuff better. And you know, things look quite big though. Um, okay, first things first, let me just quickly show you what I've done here and then I will just um, go more into the update. Even though guys have been waiting for that for a long time. I just added the same stuff right down here and yeah, if you just walk through it, a bit of a plants and then down here I added some more stuff and banana trees and that's it. In here I am almost done with uh, placing some more stuff and then I need to paint stuff white. And down here we're going to add some more things, but what I would like to do is a detailed um, episode where we're just going to detail some stuff, but we're going to add a lot of things around in this area and around in this area just to, you know, fill it in a little more and make it come alive. Here I got like a idea board or um, whatever you like to call that. I actually stole that idea from the last video. 
I thought it was a very good idea, like a, a board with, you know, announcements or whatever. And we can play some stuff on here later on. Alright, so that is that about the update. Now, we can do something that was very needed for Compass. Because you can go into your horse, right? Like this. You call your horse. This is also new, by the way. I like that. You can call your horse, right? And when you're on a new island, you discover. And then you go into your horse. And you couldn't use your compass. Right now, I'm riding the horse with a compass. So, also in first person mode, it can be a little choppy you now, but I wouldn't go into first person mode on a horse. Now, even bread, you can just eat it. And as you can see, I got now cold resistant effect. So, certain food also gives certain effect, apparently. Um, yeah, so that is also very nice. Now the only thing, and yes, this is a little bit of extra, I wish that ranged weapons, like a crossbow or maybe a pistol or a bolt action, uh, long range weapons, I wish you could also use that on a horse, I think it would be very cool, maybe this is an option for the far future, but melee weapons, I understand it would not be a thing. Now, I am not sure what else can be used on a horse, but we will discover that along the way, oh god. And it's gone. Alright. Um, well, I got some time left. So there are also a few couple of new items. Now, since I am not far enough into the game, and probably if I would be far in the game, it would still not be shown up. Since certain things will only show up once you discover it. That's okay. Um, but I have been seeing, well, let me just take a look, this guy down here. Now, instead of um, doing a building station, you can now do a building blueprint to say. Because on building stations, you need to place it, for example, right down here. And then with the floating camera, you have a certain area where you can build stuff. But it's limited. And after that, you need to demolish this thing and then place it elsewhere and recraft it. And to save up all of that stuff, they now have this paper and the paper goes into your hot bar have you been building here fine you can move on and build over there fine it is way more easier um, for building stuff way more friendlier so that is one of the things there now for the workstations there are a few couple of things that are new but what you can do or craft inside isn't that new so for example they now have a diver's stand and I already took some material, so I can just grab this thing. Let me just place it down here for now. And you might think, okay, new stuff. No, you can just craft all of the diving stuff. And apparently also coral fishing rod right down in here, which makes a lot more sense if you think about rather than going into your crafting menu and randomly craft that stuff. It doesn't make sense. You now have a workbench to do that. Also, you have here a pottery wheel. I'm just gonna place it right down there, and it actually counts with the same thing. You can craft pots. Now, there is also another workbench for some high end armor, but since I am not there just yet, I don't have access to it, which is fine. I don't wanna spoil too much because I already spoiled myself too much. I'll explain that in a second. And for clothing, you now have a sewing machine rather than also craft it into your uh, inventory. It doesn't make any sense. Now it does make sense and all we have a lot more new items as you can see. It looks nice. So anything else tool wise? Well, I believe there are a few couple new things. So the hand drill here, we know this one. This was the only one in here. And now we also have a steel hand drill. Um, the thing though, with the coral hand drill, it now has been reduced and if you use the steel hand drill, it, you will get more. So I think the steel hand drill will give you more than the old way of using the coral drill. I'm not quite sure if that is true. Now with the saws, they also have the iron saw and now they have a steel saw. Probably you can do it a lot quicker. Maybe you get a few couple of extra more pieces of wood if you use this one 
Now these were the things which I knew were new. I just took the list with it. They have like new fishing rods right down here or wood, steel and uh, coral. They also have a steel pickaxe which is right down here and zirconium fishing rod, pickaxe, saw, hand drill. I don't have that stuff just yet so I cannot really show it to you. I hope I pronounced it the correct way. Now for other new items they have a bunch of stuff like cubed sugar, cat food, dog treats, antler, horn, claw, tooth, scale, half eaten pineapple, fur, tuft, rapid scroll. Well, still plenty of new items there. So for the vehicles, maybe I can show you guys that. Maybe not. For the ships, they should have some new stuff. You can also see it has been reworked a little bit as in, you know, now the devices are nice in the list right here. For the ships, they should have, or should I have, a primitive ship, which is very basic. It's easy to make. You don't have to save up all of this uh, more expensive stuff for a larger ship or a normal ship which costs nails and stuff. So you can get off the tutorial island more easier if you have missed out onto iron. Now they also should have a primitive anchor, a primitive mast with sail. Now right down here at boat there should be a motorboat which I haven't unlocked just yet because you know it's new, makes sense. For the engines there should be a big steam engine, a big Wylandium engine. There should also be a ship lantern and a ship spotlight. Now I do have to say because I visit the last map that contained all kinds of items which I didn't have. I for some reason unlocked a ton of new stuff. I didn't unlock everything because it's an older map and now I have like kayaks and a tire raft and whatever not so. Right, for the environment they have added a few couple of new things which I need to go to a different map to regenerate new stuff. This is a coral reef, a table coral tree, ribcage sponge, half sponge, cluster of deep sea worms, giant starfish, giant sea cucumber and a giant sea urchin. For the building they have added two things one of them is some glass doors which is very nice i got these guys for some reason i do have these uh, so this is a big one this is a small one this is very very nice especially for modern buildings or anything that your fantasy can think of and another thing that i haven't been finding just yet but maybe i can find it here and then here no, that's because I haven't unlocked it just yet in my uh, crafting. It is a picnic basket. Now for a picnic basket, I can imagine it might be used to store food into uh, just like these uh, containers where you can just put different stuff into something like that. I think it is. There is no explanation for that. Now anything else, it might be uh, too much to name every little thing onto the list for edit, remove, replace, rework, tweak it and fix it. But I will put a link in the description that will bring you to the uh, change log of islands. Now since I'm going to be a little short on time sooner or later, there is one thing that I would like to do before continuing the normal stuff to say. And that is uh, go to a new map and check out the map because they have also been adding some more stuff here or there now meanwhile i have also been suggesting a few couple of things and there is also now i'm thinking of it one thing that i have been looking for since 2019 and as you can see they have now taken care that pieces are rotated in such a way that you can immediately see what this piece is. This piece I'm using it so much but I always had a bit of a trouble finding it. And one of the things that I have been uh, suggesting and one of the things that I am going to suggest uh, I actually told them that it might be handy to have a trash can. Now of course if you have an item you go like this. Let me just split the stack up before you know stop. Okay um yeah you, you just grab Okay, now you just select this item, right? Then you have to go like this. 
and then you have to go like that and then it breaks and before uh, if you do a whole stack this menu will disappear you have to click on the eye again it is a lot of work right so i suggested them make a trash can just make a trash can with a couple of slots in there and then you know what let's oh look 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 okay difficulty tier 4 temperature mm -hmm. Ah, oh, that's so neat. And what? Uh, oh, difficulty one, five, six. Oh, that is that is super neat. That is super neat. Ah, oh. this is something that I was actually. Yeah, looking forward to. So we, I, I'm going to need to, you know, re rethink uh, everything, or you know, take a look like, what is this and what is that. Um, yeah, because I kind of focus now on what I found where, like catfish oil and that kind of stuff. It is probably on different places. I might need to delete some islands. Um, yeah, because it works different right now. I'm not quite sure if I must go to another island in order to regenerate the new stuff. And because it also depends on spawn areas to say. So let's open this. Yeah, it is still kind of the same though. Uh, yeah, the uh, container. I also suggested like, you know, if you place one of these guys here, give it an option to... Uh, place a name somewhere so you can see what it is is it like sunken ship is it like certain resources or stuff like that that would be very handy though now so far the mythical creatures i i am not sure if you need to find them randomly on an island like this or that they are found on mystery islands i mean that sounds kind of a thing right and one of the other things I also suggested besides trash cans uh, is a grinder. So if you got tons of stacks with certain resources you want to grind, like you want to grind 50 stacks of locks, then it works the same like if you wanted to, you know, get rid of it by destroying it. Why not just make a grinder? You can put it into the grinder and then you just press grind and then it will take one minute to grind everything. And then you will get the secondary resources of it, which sounds like very handy, right? Rather than having to do everything one by one. Is there a medical creature right down here? Oh boy, it's gonna be definitely something to figure that out, ain't it? I also had a few tips on the last normal episode where I changed the ship into the colors I have right now. And... Um, Someone was saying, maybe make a dragon out of it. And then I'm like, maybe I should make a dragon ship. Something different. And I also had a few couple of tips uh, referring to searching for the ingredients for the keys. Uh, because I have, yeah, I also have extra of these all of a sudden. Um, but I was looking for, yeah, let me see. the, the This one, hot snail. Uh, can be found in deep sea polymerous and I didn't really knew what to look for like uh, So far I've been looking for all of these fishes. They are swimming around into groups and also uh, Sea slugs and that kind of stuff Apparently these guys are found onto the ground of the uh, ocean there. So I'm going to, to uh, revisit that and also I had a tip of someone he said to me you should go to the racket airplane that is on the bottom of the ocean which is on to home base number one we took a look at all of these uh, underwater type of deals and one of them had a lot of oysters now one of the ingredients to make the shark repellent is oysters and he said to me you know you need to go back and you need to grab them all because it's going to be super handy oh wow is it? Wow, that is... I think it's the first time ever 
I pop drop from this side. Anything else, I you know come here a lot, and that's why these uh, I'm creating the wider roads because this is a tip for anyone else. If you respawn here, just go around and uncover this side. So on this way, you uncover more and more rather than trying to follow the same path all the time. Let me just. Um, I wonder what other foods will do, and I also wonder like. Is, is eating bread now just the same as cold resistant potion or is it just the half of it? You know, something like that because or else it would make potions like worthless. Uh, Anywho, what I wanted to do is show you guys right down here. I've been making 500 something shark repellent. Uh, only because uh, of this um, sunken airplane that gave me so much oysters. But yeah, uh, thank you for the tip. I really appreciate tips. I really appreciate ideas, tricks and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to leave it with this now for the um, upcoming episode. What I would like to do, of course, still is I would like to see if I can find the hard snail right somewhere here at the um, at the ocean. And then we're going to make this tool. And then I would like to go back and see at one of the sea treasures what is inside the container. And after that, if we have some time left, I would like to start out um, with detailing and the episode after that. So I'm basically speaking about Friday, Saturday. I would like to do some detailing and see how much we can get done. And ideas are definitely welcome because after that, we're going to start building onto some of these buildings that are going to be in the front of the storage areas. So I'm going to, to make shops, maybe a square somewhere where, you know, people come together. I'm going to have ideas for market stands. I'm going to need to have a lot of ideas and you guys can be a part of bringing in those ideas. And that is absolutely perfect. Look at that. Come on, this oh, first person mode. There we go. You can just pick it up, pick that up. I would like to bring the cat up front of the ship. And you know, I just discovered recently that there is a tool that's going to be super handy, and that is a wooden uh, rake rack. Use the smooth terrain. This is going to be super handy right over there when I want to make something that goes uphill. So what I've been doing, you might see something new up there, something that is blue for the people who haven't seen that already. I'm on a screenshot. Um. <laughs> oh God. I took one of these broken down computers and I just colorized it, gave him a smile and alien eyes or sunglasses. And then I was like, you know what? I would like to also place this cat up here with a box of popcorn upside down on his head because why not? Stuff is so super sensitive. You know what? And it's done. Beautiful. Let's uh, also harden this item. And let's take a look in our new first person mode how it looks like. So this is what we got. We can make the group a lot bigger. Of course it needs to be something silly, something special. I mean there are tons of statues but yeah we can make a group like this. And these are you guys. Uh, so with that being said and with that being done, uh, thank you for watching and then I'll uh, hope to catch you on Friday.